Hiya, it's Hannah Bain from the Arc Turiensis Project. Uh, we're at Mullither Horeb in Wales. Hey, I can speak Welsh a bit. <laughs> well, a little bit anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, go into a bit more detail about the uh, the technical stuff uh, more than Robert did the other night. So uh, what we're doing here is we're just looking at the technology that we've got so far. Uh, ours is a mock-up, so it's like it's not not very big, a few meters across. But obviously the uh, the proper one we're going to build next year, around about July 2019. That's going to be uh, large enough to get someone inside it. Although there's two different types. There's the uh, the plane wave generator, uh, which uh, there's no point preaching to you about that because I'm sure a lot of you already know uh, how you get the electrogravitics from that and you get lift from the, the ion wind. Uh, what we do is we bombard uh, a Joshi Babu laminate. Uh, Joshi and Babu being professors at uh, Brunel Uxbridge who've been working on laminates for quite a while now uh, and the laminates are bismuth, magnesium and there's a bit of calcium in there for structural integrity uh, so you can get some you can get someone in there uh, and you can fling them around a bit but they get squished so what you'd have to do if you want to really accelerate them is uh, put a spinning torus uh, of superconducting material in there uh, and that adds uh, a lot of energy it adds a lot of bind binding energy to the gluons that hold the quarks together uh, in the superconductor uh, and of course if you add binding energy to the gluons they're, they're responsible for 99% of the mass uh, and so you get a whole lot of mass in that thing uh, and that creates a gravity well uh, and so anyone gets attracted to that rather than to the wall of the actual machine which when you're accelerating at 11 to 12 g is pretty good because if you were squished against the wall it's not pleasant brains through your nostrils and stomach out well you know where your stomach could come out so anyway uh, that's that's how it works um, no torus in this one we don't need it because there's no one in there to get squished uh, so it just works on the electric gravitics from the plane waves, uh, the static electric, and us beaming this electromagnetic uh, ray thing. Sorry about that, it was my phone going off. Uh, so anyway, so what we do is we beam uh, electromagnetic radiation at the laminate at uh, 2.8 nanometers wavelength. What that does is it ionizes the uh, the composite material so you get the electrons floating around outside the atoms uh, and obviously it ionizes the whole material what you also get at the time as well is you get a displacement slightly of the strings um, that represent the gluons if you're into string theory you'll know what i'm talking about there uh, and what you do is you manipulate it so that the strings antinodes so where you get the maximum deflection you line them up with holes in what we call a calabi yau space, calabi yau manifold, uh, which is basically six curled up dimensions with holes in it. Now, if you line up the antinodes of the strings with the holes, it looks as if the strings have disappeared down the holes and they become invisible to the Higgs field. Now, they haven't disappeared because gravitons in string theory are closed strings and they can wrap around the holes and like catch the energy, if you like. But if they catch the energy, they gain the energy, and math doesn't like gaining something without losing something, because plus one, minus one's got act, uh, actually add up to zero. So what happens is that the gravitons gain the energy, and the manifold loses it. So you get plus one in the holes, captured by the gravitons, and you get minus one in the manifold. Minus one plus one equals zero, so the overall uh, gravitational energy of the system is zero. So what happens is Higgs field can't detect it, uh, and you float, basically. Uh, which is uh, great for us, because it means we can float this thing around. Anyway, we're going to zoom it off now, like we do, uh, and we'll talk about toruses and stuff uh, another time, because uh, it's useful, but uh, not necessary if you've not got anyone in there that's going to get squished against the wall. 
So it's been great talking to you. It's the first one. Uh, probably Robert will be back with you next time. Uh, and then I'll work on some stuff and publish it as usual on the Arturiensis Google Plus site. Uh, on my own Google Plus site. And it will be tweeted on the Arturiensis site as well. So there you go. Uh, quick look at Mrs Moon, who's nearly full. Uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da!